Hello Scouts, Scouter Heather here. Today we're going to be starting a new adventure for tigers. This one's called Tigers in the Wild. Now we're going to be doing requirements one and two. So the first one is, with your parent, guardian, or other caring adult, name and collect the Cub Scout six essentials you need for a hike. Tell your den leader what you will need to add to your list to prepare for rain. Now the first thing most people think of when they're getting ready for a hike is water. And you definitely need to have water. Now a good sized water bottle like this, nice sturdy construction, one that won't easily break in your backpack is a great idea. But also make sure you're keeping your water bottle clean. You want to wash it out after every hike and wait until you're ready to go on the next one before you refill it. Never leave a half empty water bottle sitting around in a backpack for days. Next is some food. Now if you're going on a short hike, you might only need some easy trail food. If you're going on a longer hike, you might want to pack yourself a big lunch, but always have something. And things like this, which are easily packaged and probably less likely to open up in your backpack, are a great idea. Next, a first aid kit. Now it doesn't have to be a big first aid kit. This is a personal first aid kit. Your leaders will probably be packing a big first aid kit. So you only need one that's big enough for some band-aids, antiseptic wipes, maybe some mole skin in case you get a blister. And of course, if you have special needs and you need to carry something like, say, an EpiPen, make sure you have that too. And make sure you know that your leader knows how to use an EpiPen and that they know where you're keeping it in your backpack. Next, you want to have a whistle. Now we've talked before that when we use the whistle only in an emergency and we blow it three times, then we listen. And we keep blowing it three times and listening. But again, only in an emergency. We don't want to be hearing you try to tweet out the Star Spangled Banner while you're on the trail. Next, you need some kind of sunscreen. Now, sunscreen or sun protection like this is great on arms and legs, but it's not the only way to protect yourself from the sun. You could take along a bandana to wrap around your neck. You can wear a hat. There's even special clothing that have sunscreen built right into it. Whatever you choose, just make sure you have something. And last, a flashlight. And make sure that you check the batteries before you go. Doesn't do you any good to have a flashlight with dead batteries if you get lost at night out in the woods. Now, if you're going and into the woods where, say, there's a lot of mosquitoes, you might want to add a few more things, like mosquito repellent. Now this isn't a six essential, but it's just something to think about. And, as we spoke earlier, you need to think about what you might need to add to your list in the event of rain. Now a lot of people buy those little tiny ponchos you can stick into your backpack easily, and those are fine, but I've personally always found that a good Raincoat is your best defense in the, against wet weather. And most raincoats fold down pretty small, so they're really not going to take up that much space in your backpack. Okay, now that you've got everything, you're ready to go on a hike. Which brings me to requirement two. Go for a short hike with your den or family and carry your own gear. Show you know how to get ready for this hike. Well, we've already started getting ready. We have our six essentials. We have them in a good backpack. Well, what else do you need to think about when you're going hiking? Well, one of the things you should think about is your clothes. Check the weather before you get ready to leave. Is it gonna be hot? Is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna rain? 
And of course, shoes. Shoes are very important. After all, you're going to be walking on your feet, so you've got to take good care of them. Hiking boots or some good sneakers. And let's not forget about wearing some good socks, thick socks, ones that haven't been worn down on the heels or toes. And lace those shoes and boots up really carefully because loose shoes cause rubbing and that causes blisters. Okay, enjoy hiking with your family. Thank you for joining me today and remember a scout is kind.